from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. We'll have Manhattan, the Bronx and Staten Island too. It's lovely going through the zoo. I'd like to move backward in time in the history of the career of Richard Rogers. I've been talking a great deal uh, with Mark Horowitz about the collaboration of Rogers and Hammerstein, which began in 1943 with Oklahoma and ended in 1959 after The Sound of Music when Oscar Hammerstein died shortly after. Richard Rogers had a very productive earlier career collaborating primarily with Lorenz Hart. They first wrote together in, I believe it was 1919, a, a show uh, that produced a song called Any Old Place With You, which has one of my favorite lyric lines. I'll go to hell for you, or Philadelphia, any old place with you. But they didn't come to prominence until a few years after that, when a song they wrote called Manhattan was used in a review called The Garrett Gaieties that didn't uh, seem like it was going to amount to much, but it was on the success primarily of this song, Manhattan, that the show ran quite a long time, and the song became iconically famous and put Rogers and Hart on the map. Now, I believe, and I'm willing to be corrected if I'm wrong, that uh, this song, Manhattan, was originally created in 1922, but didn't see the light of day until 1925. So here we have an early manuscript in the hand of Richard Rogers for this extraordinarily popular and important song. And the first thing that's interesting about the manuscript of Manhattan is that it's written in the key of D. The published song was written in the key of F, and uh, perhaps D was the key that uh, Rogers was most comfortable singing in. We don't, we don't know. Uh, but the other thing that is interesting about this manuscript is that it is much more thoroughly notated with rather full chords, especially for the right hand, uh, than his later manuscripts, which were more simply notated, perhaps because, as happens in the uh, careers of many composers as they continue to write, they discovered that, that simplicity is actually a better way to express an idea. So uh, Manhattan, here it is, uh, as it was notated in 1922. And it uh, has this wonderful rhythm. A lot of stuff going on. But when it was published in 1925, it was published in F. We'll have Manhattan, the Bronx and Staten Island too. It's lovely going through the zoo. So now you have to decide which is the better key, D or F. But the one thing we know is that in any key, it's one of the best songs ever written. I'm Michael Feinstein, and I'd like to thank you for sharing this intimate journey through the Music Division's collections here at the Library of Congress. To find out more about the Library of Congress, go online to loc.gov. Thank you. This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.